So today I'm going to show you how I do my deadlifts. Uh, I primarily pull sumo since uh, 2016. So I had a spinal injury that kind of forced me to switch to sumo stance. And uh, I'm going to show you my conventional. I think that my sumo is a little bit better, mainly because I practice it more, obviously. And uh, I'm going to show you why the deadlift isn't a pull. It's more of a bit of a leg press posterior chain, more than a pull. So let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is uh, set my feet correctly. I want my shin to be about an inch from the bar. If, you're, uh, if your shins are too close to the bar, the bar might escape from you. If you're too fast pulling, and I pull quite fast, I don't set them like right on the bar because I pull quite explosively. And what that does is hits the bar, and then the bar swings, and it adds you know more weight on my shoulders and upper back. So what I do is I keep about an inch distance. And my foot is, I have probably say, I don't know, 50 degrees maybe. It's not 45, it's too much for my hips and my, my femur. I'd say about 50, that's a good angle for me. I stand pretty wide, right here. So if I start pulling, this is my position right here. I can start pulling from right here. Now that I've built my base, I'm gonna focus on upper back, thoracic spine, deltoids, lats and uh, a big chest like everybody wants to say um, what I do is I let my shoulders just go down neutral position there's no point in hyper extending like tucking it in like a, in the bench press or the squat definitely no point in uh, letting them hang forward because that's gonna add this much distance to your lockout and of course it won't allow your upper back to tighten and create the kinetic, li the kinetic linking between lumbar spine and thoracic spine so what I do is, before I go down, I like to brace before I go down, uh, maybe because of my gut, I don't know why, but uh, it's just more comfortable for me. What I do is, I, you know, my arms are dropping regularly, that's it. Then I'll move forward a little bit, that's it. Grab the bar, and I'm, I'm bracing as I'm going down, like I take a deep breath. That immediately actually made my back pop just now. Uh, my lats are activating like this, just like this. It's a thoracic spine stabilizer. There is no way that my back is gonna give as I'm pulling the weight because I'm already secure in that position. And this is this is exactly what I do before I show you the hips motion. It, this is the exact same thing, right? Now I'm in a position to pull, that's it. I, I keep a neutral to kind of like looking up, head position, I don't wanna hyperextend, I don't wanna be here. Because, you know, I've, I've given a lot of stress to, to my neck through many years of lifting. And uh, let's move on to the hips. Now we can discuss about the most important thing in the deadlift, the hips, which is our hinge. It's what makes that hinging motion in the movement. And uh, this is what takes the slag out of the bar. That's how you bend the bar before you actually start pulling. And what, how that happens is uh, I'm going to brace just like before. I'm going to reach down, grab the bar. And I, what I do is, is kind of like a scooping motion. It's not a downwards motion. I don't, I don't really like to leg press the bar. I like to shove my hips. I want my hips to point that way, that direction. And I want my upper back to go in that direction. That just straightens my body and blocks out the exercise. Now, what I do is I brace again. My shoulders are neutral, just like this. Big chest, my, my lats are flexing anyway. They're securing my upper body. And as I go down and I scoop and I shove my hips forward, the slag out of the bar will be taken. It's that, it's that easy. And I'm just gonna show you how I do it. And that's it. It's not, it's not a lot of weight to, to go against my body weight. I'm a lot heavier than this. But we're just gonna add a few more plates and uh, see how my body reacts to it. With an estimated deadlift at about 500 pounds right now, 
uh, it's uh, not that easy for me to make that weight elevate as I as I force my hips forward, like with the uh, previous weights, the lighter weights. But what that does now, what I can do is take weight off the bar before I start pulling by bending the bar, which means I can still create distance and take weight off the bar. Now let's demonstrate what that means. I'm gonna set up. Just like that. My back is as straight as it can be. I'm bracing. Immediately see as soon as I go down, the bar bends. It's as simple as that. I'll, I can do that again to show you. As soon as I shove my hips into position, the bar bends. You see that? Now, as I'm about to pull, I'm just going to tell you again about the hips. I'm going to scoop it up. I want my hips to do this motion, this exact motion, it might seem a little bit diagonally going down like vertically to, to, to diagonally, but I'm not, because as soon as I'm sitting up, my hips do this, this exact motion. I want to drive my, my hips through. Now I'm going to show you how I pull conventionally. Now, my conventional deadlift has changed. Until up to 2015, I was lighter. Uh, and it was a lot easier for me to stand closer. Like, you know, about this close is the you know, suggested width. So you can bend the bar, you can hold the bar a little bit tighter, and you can bend the bar more. The wider you hold the bar, the less it bends. So now that I'm quite heavier, I'm gonna stand about shoulder width, like this. I'm gonna go down and I'm still gonna hinge my hips. Uh, what I said earlier about the, the leg press thing and the more of the posterior chain movement in the sumo is the same here, but now we can do that. We can drive our feet through the floor. Much like in sumo, in, in the sumo, I'm gonna push my feet down and out, kind of like a squat, because I squat wide. But here, it's a lot simpler. You just drive your feet through. So in a way, it is a bit of a leg press. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna brace. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna take the slack off, and I'm, I'm pretty sure at this weight that the, the bar is gonna elevate a little bit without me pulling it. You can see immediately, I actually, I, I deliberately give it all, as in I tried to pull up in this way, and the bar just went up, as soon as I braced and I shoved my hips through, the bar stood a couple of inches. Um, another thing is that uh, I wasn't supposed to be pulling today. I was, we started this video two days ago and uh, today's bench day. I hope I can bench a little bit after this uh, session right now. Uh, so I'm not gonna test it. I'm not gonna pull like four or five plates with this because I'll be trashed on Wednesday where I'm supposed to be squatting. But uh, let's do a couple of those. With the same principle, I'm just gonna show you right now. I'm just gonna do the same thing. The same principle goes for the, the shoulders, the same thing. They're not forward, they're not backwards, they're basically just above the bar. As I scooch down, the bar rises. That's it. And, I mean, it doesn't bend as much. I don't feel it bending as much. But uh, with four plates and up, for my uh, strength, for my level of strength, the bar bends. Now, if you're, if you're pulling 700, I'm pretty sure you can make uh, close to 500 elevate a little bit before. I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously a test. Nobody's going to compete like that anyway. But uh, you can just practice your hip drive. So as soon as you drive your hips through, the bar rises with lighter weights. I'm gonna complete a few reps with this light weight. It's okay. I don't train conventional as often due to you know spinal several spinal problems that I have. Uh, obviously, it's a lot easier to pull sumo when you got you know lower back pain constantly. 
So I'm just gonna do like uh, maybe three nice and easy, nice and easy reps. So you can see how I shove my hips through, and it's just easy, easier that way. Now, as soon as I hinge, as soon as I shove my hips forward, you hear that. And that's how it should be. That's what we need. That's what I want. This, what I'm going to show you is not a big secret. I, I saw somebody do that, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. I think it was in Iceland somewhere. Uh, they couldn't find the, the, the jacks to, to pull the bar backwards and unload it. So somebody just handed me a plate and I was like, what am I supposed to do with it? So it's just... It's a hack for somebody who trains in the gym that they don't have the jacks. So it's super easy. Just put a smaller plate underneath, roll them up, unlock it. And take the plate off. So this is the primary exercise I do for my abs. Been doing it for a long time. I'll finish off with um, three or five sets of uh, 20 reps. Kind of stole it from uh, boxing. You know what they kind of the, the brace. It's like I'm kind of getting punched, although I stick my belly out. Obviously, I'm doing this for powerlifting. And uh, I also keep my thumbs on my head. I never let go because I've caught myself a few times tugging when I get tired. You want to keep them strict. This way you're pulling the weight down with your abdominals and not your arms. Nice and controlled, like this. So one final tip about bracing, Chris Duffin has touched upon it, he's always very very uh, brilliant when it comes to that stuff, so I'm just going to you know, add my personal input to it. Uh, when I say brace, uh, either it's you know, a little squat, the, the bench, and now for this video, the deadlift, it's so more conventional. You want to uh, keep the air, breathe into your stomach. Uh, you don't want to puff your chest up when you do that. You don't want to do this. If the shoulders are rising, that means the air is going everywhere. You want the air to focus in your stomach. So you're basically going to brace like this. You do this and then you press. What this does is, in a way, creates a 360. Uh, the people, you know, the, well, that's the belt. The belt does that. But what this does, it pushes out. Your obliques are pushing out. Your abdominals are pushing out. And there's not a lot uh, in this area here that, that secures your lower back, whilst your upper back has you know, so much bone that you know, makes it more sturdy. So what we have here is obliques and abdominals and erectors on the other side. So as, as, as strong as your erectors are in your lower back, your abs needs to be exactly the same. If you have any imbalances, you're gonna injure yourself. I've, I've made it to a point where I can't, like I don't, I never bend forward in a squat or a deadlift ever. I mean, if it's too heavy, I'm not going to be able to, to lift it, but my form never breaks down. It's very rare that my form will break, break down. And that might be because I'm, I will add too much weight, and that's my fault to begin with. So, 
small steps, remember to brace. It's the most important thing, is what keeps you secure, and what allows you to lift long term. I like to keep my belt for squats, deadlifts, uh, really high. Like I, I want to put it up to here, right under my chest basically. That's it, maybe one more. Like I want to have it tight enough so that I know that I'm secure. My lats are flexing, my lats, my shoulders are down, so I'm pressing down against it and my abs are pushing up. I'm creating a, a, a you know, so much pressure that it's, it just keeps me safe. The reason why I do this, I used to keep my belt lower, but uh, it's honestly just not comfortable. I don't feel as safe. It's just personal preference, I guess, plus I've gained the weight. So if, I'm, if I put my belt, that I can right now, but if I put my, my belt down here and I pull conventional, pressing against with all this air, pressing against my belt will not allow me to get in, the good, into, in a good position to pull, conventional especially. So what I do, I keep it up like this. If it's for conventional, I might spread my legs up an inch wider. That's it. I'm just going to spread a little bit more so I can, you know, fit. My arms can fit. Everything is nice and easy. For the squat and the sumo, it's, it's a dream. It's super comfortable. And uh, I think if you haven't tried it, you should definitely try the higher position. That's exactly how I keep it right here. That's it. It's in a diagonal angle, I guess. Uh, remember, not too tight. You, you always need to be able to take a full breath. But at the same time, if it's, you know, it's like, I cannot press against it, it's not tight enough. So you want it, you know, to a point where it's, like if I squeeze really hard, I feel the pressure in my head. You know what I mean? Then it's tight enough and that's your limit. So after I finished uh, showing you guys how I do the, the deadlift sumo conventional, I went on to, uh, to finish up a mini training session. I did a uh, close grip for like five sets. I did decline, which I have probably never done before. That was the first time. That was hard as fuck. I was very excited to do that. Another five sets. And then I moved on to some incline dumbbells. Uh, no arms today. Um, it was a, a great session. I want to thank, uh, I want to shout out the Apostolo brothers, uh, Stathis and Vagelis, who have been very kind to me since I've been here last year. And they just let me do pretty much what I want. I've turned the Smith machine into my power cage because there's no power cage or squat rack. So I squat there, I pull, you know, my higher pulls above the knee. I do them over there, as you've probably seen in some of my videos. And uh, they, they've actually allowed me to move a few racks out of the way and add the, the, the mats that you saw earlier in the video, where I can actually deadlift. They have a couple of power bars. They bend nicely. They're not too bendy. Uh, you can, I, I could probably, def I could definitely squat it with them, but there's no squat rack. But uh, the deadlift, the bar bends very nicely with them, and the bench, they're rigid enough to bench with. I'm lucky that way. Uh, they've been very patient. They, they let me come in here and film when it's not crowded, which is, you know, very, very uh, appreciated. Uh, and that's it for today. Subscribe to the channel. It's a new channel. And uh, check me out on Instagram on Terry Strength Coach.